Hello everyone. Today's topic carp compliant trailer. And I'm thinking about this. How can be the trailer carp compliant? The trailer has no engine and it should be compliant. And uh, when I got my trailer two years ago, it's 1994. Oh no, it's 2004 actually. It's 2004 trailer and in fact is not carp compliant the car co compliant trailer should have some kind of aerodynamics and install it some kind of skirt or under the tray or kind of spoil spoilers and it should improve uh, fuel efficiency about uh, uh, up to 5% to be compliant. This is implemented in California. But to make it wo work, I got one uh, kit and installed it on my trailer and already drive some time and check is actually works or not working. And right now we're going outside and I show what I got. Okay, this is my trailer. I'm using this about two years and I finally installed my under tray to improve my fuel efficiency. And I tested already. Right now we're gonna look how it looks here okay we have a bracket here which easy to connect and here uh, who made this is called smarttruckero.com looks like this company not exist anymore they make their money and they off the market right now and we have a stamp here it's telling my truck right now is compliant for the road it's good to drive in California but what I'm thinking about uh, this system also I got one on the top of my roof on the end of the trailer I got some kind of spoiler it's called rain guard air rain guard and what I'm thinking about this one actually for California who implement these rules it doesn't work because we have speed limit only 55 miles per hour and these things doesn't do any good on speed 55 if you're driving faster let's say 65 70 the trailer go, goes better you're not feeling that this suction moment behind your trailer that the goes smoother and you save some fuel when you drive over 55 miles but if you're driving only 55 like you should drive in california for heavy trucks it doesn't make any good and what i'm thinking about this one the people smart people who make this they doing only for money not for something like help to reduce emission or something else right now i'm going to drive more and see how much more efficient this one for my truck and some people thinking this one for snow or to protect the cables and uh, when I saw these things many years ago I think it's something else not for aerodynamics but actually it's for aerodynamics now you can see I put on this trailer this is rain guard on the top of my trailer and what it's supposed to do it's supposed to deflect the air from the top and push it down because here on the back of the trailer we have low pressure and this one should compensate 
and uh, reduce drag like suction moment behind the trailer because we have a low pressure behind the trailer how I said what I'm thinking about this smart way design this under tray and spoiler on the top it works but if you drive more than 55 when you drive 55 you save fuel anyway and it's, there's no drag even my truck is not aerodynamic but when I drive more than 55 my truck eat much more fuel when I go 60 70 it goes much more fuel eat much more fuel but when I install these pieces it's go easier and take less fuel but it's I don't know if it's 5% or not how they introduce but what I'm thinking about is all this stuff the people who make they already closed and what they did they tried to sell this uh, stuff and nobody wanted to buy it and later on what they did looks like they pushed the law to install for any truck but right now there's no use for this because many trailer what they making from factory they already installing the side skirt and uh, this company is closed right now and I think they make their money and and last thing why I installed this one I I installed it because <clears throat> right now for many a shipper when you see your uh, when you book your load you see it says trail trailer must be carb compliant must have skirt by California law and but nobody asked me for this two years nobody asked me about this skirt but I installed it because I got some brand new one only for fifteen dollars and when they originally cost about thirteen hundred plus installation and yeah it's not worth it to spend 1300 plus installation also these things it's heavy it's about 200 pounds and you carrying with you 200 pounds plus when it, actually you know need it if you travel inside the California if you go outside and you're speeding about 70 yeah it's it works but here we just put an extra weight and looks like we legal yeah I think that's it if you like my video if you think it's helps some way just give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel okay thank you for watching bye now